Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get more YouTube views with Zapier. Alright, so we just started using Zapier and I am loving it. So this is our YouTube channel right now. And I'll explain what Zapier is in more detail in just a second. But basically, this is our YouTube channel and we release videos Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we do this Thursday live stream. And sometimes we have vlogs come out on Fridays and potentially if we're feeling really good, a video on Saturday. So we've got a lot of videos going out weekly. And I wanted a tool that would automate sharing these videos. I know that there are social media scheduling platforms. The thing with that is you have to actually go and schedule them, like input them in. The cool thing about Zapier is that you literally set it up once and then it does it for you automatically every time a YouTube video is published. So the zap that I'm going to be sharing is when I release a YouTube video, it automatically posts on our Facebook page. So this video right here, how we made our client $10,000 with less than 100 views. I did not post this myself. I set up the zap and every time a video goes out, it just gets posted on our Facebook fan page. Now, the reason why I wanted to set up this zap on our specific Facebook fan page is for a couple of reasons. One, we wanted to have more activity happening on our Facebook fan page because I know that people are searching us up, wanting to know that we're credible, and they want to see some action happening in here. If they saw a post from one year ago, you know, they would think that we're not as active, nothing's really happening with our YouTube business. So we want this to be active to create credibility. And two, by posting on here, you actually get views on here that you didn't think that you would. So I've noticed that since I've set up this zap, I'm actually getting more interaction than before. Because before setting up the zap, I would post, I don't know, once every couple months if I remembered about my Facebook fan page. But now that I'm posting more actively, I'm getting more engagement on our Facebook fan page, not just on our videos, but on our other posts as well. So it's creating engagement again back on this page that was kind of dying out. All right, so let's head over to Zapier. Zapier is an automation tool and it can automate many different things. It can automate sending out an email for you. It can automate putting stuff into Excel. It can go the reverse way where you can put something into Excel and it can add the email into your autoresponder. It can do a million different things, but I just want to focus on very few things that I need in our business. And one of the main things was how can we use Zapier to get more YouTube views? And that is by setting up a zap that goes from our YouTube channel to our Facebook fan page. So when you're in your Zapier account, Zapier has a free account and a, they also have a paid account. So I believe they give you a certain amount of zaps for free. I can't remember how many. I am now on the paid Zapier account because we're actually using this for our business now. But I believe you, you do get a couple of zaps for free. I can't remember how many. Okay, so once you are in your Zapier account, just find the button that says create zap. It's all over the place. It's in different tabs. And just click create zap. Creating a zap is like creating an action. You're setting up an action from this to this. So what we're doing is when a YouTube video gets published, it will automatically post to the Facebook fan page. Okay, so from here, it wants you to search the apps. And so the initial app that we are gonna be using is YouTube because we're gonna start from YouTube. So I'm gonna type in YouTube. And you can see they have a lot of different ones. So I'm gonna click YouTube. And then it's gonna ask you for the trigger event. So if you click on it, you'll see there are different triggers. So it's 
a new video, a new video in channel, new video by search, new video in a playlist. So I want a new video from our YouTube channel. So I'm going to click this one right here and then I'm going to click continue. So you do need to connect up your accounts. And in this case, we need to connect up our YouTube channel and our Facebook account. And it's totally legit. Like you can read about Zapier. Zapier has been around for a very long time. They're very credible. So you do need to give them access to connect to your accounts. So I'm going to choose my account. I already have it connected. I'm going to click this one because I've already connected it. But when you are first starting out, click connect new account. Then I'm going to click continue. All right. So next it's asking for my YouTube channel ID. So, so I need to grab my YouTube channel ID. I'm going to paste that here. If you don't know where to find your YouTube channel ID, I have a tutorial video. I'll put that in the description of this video. So I put in my YouTube channel ID. I'm going to click refresh fields. Now I can click continue. All right. So they need you to do a test trigger and it basically says, well, find a recent video in your YouTube channel account to confirm that this is the right account. So I'm going to click test trigger and it's going to pull up our live stream because that was the latest video on this past Thursday. I'm good with that. Click continue. So now it's going to ask you, where do you want to connect this to? What is the action now? Right? So I want to go from YouTube to Facebook and specifically Facebook pages. And I can see here that they already have it here. But if they don't have the one that you're looking for, just start typing it in and it'll come up. So I have Facebook pages, which is what I want to connect to. And then now it wants to, you to choose an event. Click on that. So it's going to ask you, you know, you want to create a page post, create a page photo, create a page video. I want it to create a page post. Click continue. So now it's going to ask you to choose which account. Again, I, I said that you need to connect your Facebook account. It's totally legit. It's okay. I'm going to click on this and I already have my Facebook account connected. If you don't, you want to click connect new account, click continue. All right. From here, it's going to ask you to choose a value, which basically is choose your Facebook page. And this is the one that I want to connect to. We only have one main Facebook page, so I'm going to click that. And then here, when you click on message, it's going to ask you in what style do you want your video to post, right? You want to add the title, just the title. And then for the YouTube link URL, you want to click on youtube.com URL. Then we'll continue on to test action. I'll click test and review. It says retest because I just did a test. And then on the Facebook fan page, it's showing up as I want it to. So it's posting it automatically. Then we're going to go to back to Zapier, click retest and continue. And so now it's asking to turn on the zap. So now that we've done this whole setup that when a YouTube video publishes, it automatically goes to the Facebook fan page. I'm going to turn on the zap. All right, so the zap is turned on. It's ready to go. You can click here and change the name of your zap. And so now every time we publish a video on our YouTube channel, automatically it's going to zap with the Zapier tool automation and it's going to post on our Facebook fan page for us. So if this video was helpful, please let us know by giving us a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. You can check out our YouTube channel. It's about money, marketing, and mindset. We have a ton of different kinds of tutorials. We're like an encyclopedia of tutorials, and I bet you'll find something you like. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.